take a look at the camera options real quick. I've got this camera set up on the key on the side here. And let's just take a look at the options. Again, you've got autofocus, continuous single shot or off. As far as options for the camera, basically digital zoom. The trackpad acts as the uh, key to zoom. Image size. And then media. Not really a whole lot there. Let's go back and take a quick look at the video camera. We've got under options as well. And you've got a bit more here. Under the video camera, you've got uh, video light if you're using one, image stabilization, scene mode, you've got a number of different scenes. Basically two options as far as quality. And that's pretty much pretty pretty much pretty much it as far as camera. Let's take a quick look at the gallery since we're talking about the camera, because I did take my usual pictures. And we'll do that. And we'll take a look at See if I can zoom in a little bit without getting too much feedback. There we go. Pretty good detail on the pictures. And I know I'm not supposed to give my personal opinion, but I thought the detail was pretty good. Now it takes a while for it to refocus when you when you zoom in. And I'll let you know when it's done it. There we go, that looks pretty good. And again, it offers multi-touch. That was an indoor shot with flash. This is outdoor. And again, you can see what happens when you first double tap. And it's still working on zooming in there. Now it's done. We'll go here and give it a second to refocus, see if it'll do it on the license plate number. It's actually not that hard to read. I think we've zoomed in too far. Here's our parking sign. You can see what you get when you first do it, but give it a second to refocus. And it's pretty sharp. It's pretty good detail for a 5 megapixel camera. Here's our flower picture, of course. Wait for it to refocus, and you can see it's working. And there we go. Let me zoom in a little bit more. The so detail's pretty good with the 5 megapixel camera. I was fairly impressed with that. All right, we had a little hiccup there. I think I've gotten it uh, taken care of. We'll take a look at the video. Again, it's 640 by 480 VGA video capture. Alright, there's a look at the video. Let's do a little navigating. And you basically have to load AT&T Maps. If you want voice turn-by-turn -turn navigation, not only do you have to load AT&T Maps, but AT&T Navigator, and they charge you $9.99 a month to uh, use their voice turn-by-turn. -turn. So basically all we're going to do is just a simple search and take a look at the maps. And it's great you get that little accept thing every time you fire it up, which I always think is so much fun. And we'll do our typical Starbucks search. There's Starbucks right under here. Search. And I don't know why we get the pizza up there at the top, but we do. And we'll drive to. All right, so here's our directions. But again, if you want voice turn-by-turn -turn navigation, you have to pay for the AT&T Navigator to get that done. All right, let's take a look at a couple of web pages on the BlackBerry Torch. And again, we'll start out with Smartphone Envy. Again, it doesn't offer any type of Adobe Flash, whether it's Flashlight, obviously not Flash 10.1. So it will load the web page, but any Flash type ad will not show up. And it's already got it loaded. It scrolls relatively smoothly. It's not as quick as some of the higher-end Android phones or the iPhone 4, but it, it scrolls pretty well. Again, you can double tap to zoom in. Also offers multi-touch. There we go. It doesn't reformat it to fit the screen, but works. Let me scroll back up here at the top and we'll go to another page. Let's go to reviews and let's try and play a review. 
You see it moves pretty quick. Alright, then let's play Face Off Samsung Fascinate versus a Droid Incredible. So we'll open that up. You can see we don't get the video at all. So the video doesn't show up, so you don't get any flash video recognition, no flash ads. But it does scroll well, it is WebKit. Let's go to GSM Arena, okay, one of my favorite sites. Take a quick look at that. So it offers double tap to zoom in and out, offers multi touch to zoom in and out. It is a WebKit browser, first full HTML WebKit browser on a Blackberry. Then we'll tap to zoom in, reformats. Looks good. Multi touch. So it's fluid. It's not quite as fluid as some of the other ones that are out there, but it's not bad by any means. I know I'll irritate all the Nokia fanboys out there, but I think it's better than any of the browsers currently running on any of the Nokia phones, although I haven't played with the N8 yet. But um, so there you go. Again, I threw a personal opinion in. I apologize for that. So there's a look at the new BlackBerry Torch, BlackBerry's latest flagship smartphone available through AT&T. I hope this has been helpful. Take care.